Mass testing at a Nashville construction site reveals more than 70 cases of coronavirus. The Metro Health Department is now monitoring that site, which is at a prominent private school. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall has followed concerns at construction sites all across the city. It is a large project at Montgomery Bell Academy just off West End Avenue. Workers are building a new field house on the private school campus. Emails obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates reveal the first positive case on the site was reported earlier this month. General contractor Brassfield and Gorey confirmed multiple positive cases of COVID-19 among our subcontractor employees, forcing them to close the site for five days for cleaning. Another email shows by May 18th, 329 workers had been tested and 60 had come back positive. The Metro Health Department said in a statement there have now been 74 cases across multiple subcontractors, and we continue to do contract tracing among the confirmed cases to make sure they remain isolated. Why don't you just walk off the job? Well, because I, you can't get unemployment if you just quit. So I have to provide for my family. News Channel 5 Investigates has talked with several worried construction workers on other sites. They voiced concerns about close working conditions on large construction projects. Some want more state oversight or even have the city close down sites. It would be nice if somebody stepped in to make actual regulation for this. You're just relying on people whose profit is at stake on whether or not they tell you whether or not you're clear to go forward or not. Brassfield and Gorey sent a statement about the MBA site saying, our current policy requires everyone on our job site to have either received a negative test or self-quarantined for the recommended period before returning to work. Brassfield and Gorey says it is fully cooperating with the Metro Health Department and safety is its highest priority. This is one of the largest outbreaks we've seen on a Davidson County construction site. Ben Hall, News Channel 5 investigates.